welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be listing the top six places to go in the North Island of New Zealand. <laughs> There's not much else to say about that so we'll just jump right into it. Firstly, the luge in Rotorua. The luge is fun. And it's... I'm good at it. <laughs> I am not. <laughs> Basically, the luge is like an engine-less go-kart. You're going down a super steep track really fast. It's on a mountain. Yeah, it's on a mountain. So it's beautiful views, as is everywhere in New Zealand. And you're just going so fast and there's no engine, so you can't accelerate. The only thing you can do is brake by pulling back the handles. So when I'm on it, I'm going brake, go, brake, go, <laughs> brake, go, all the way down this long track. I was like, don't touch the brakes, don't touch the brakes. <laughs> Charlie was like zooming past. Charlie and my sisters did like three laps and I just did the one and they all had to wait for me at the bottom. I was so slow because I don't like adrenaline, do I? No, but we did all give you a little cheer when you got to the bottom. I did, it's true. And then you have to get on like a ski lift on the way back up and it's, it's, just, it's not my idea of a terrible time, but it's also not something that I would do uh, that I would do often. Let's put it that way. Would you do it again? Oh, 100%. I think it's so fun, <laughs> but that's the maximum adrenaline level I get to. The next one would have to be Mount Monganui. Yes, Mount Monganui is amazing. So basically, it's just this huge mountain that when Charlie and I got there, we looked up and my sister, my mum, well, my two sisters and my mum said that's the mountain we're climbing on this trip and I was like no 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 <laughs> I shan't be doing that <laughs> and it turns out they were they were not lying it was the mountain it's huge yes but we did do it in the evening so it wasn't as hot yeah so it was a super hot day and we had been like super busy that day I went paddleboarding that yeah day. you did so Charlie went paddleboarding we'd been um, we'd been in the waves we'd yeah. been sunbathing we just had a really nice day and then we knew that the time was drawing close that we'd have to actually climb this mountain so we got on our climbing gear and we were walking up it and I have like for me I'm, I, at the time especially, I was not fit in the slightest and it was hard and I think it's hard for the average person. Yeah, definitely. But the only thing that's really disheartening is when you see people jogging up it or running up it yes. besides you. With like weights in their backpack. Yeah, and you're like, oh, okay, cool, cool. Yeah. It's like that, is it? I'm out of breath, but it's yeah. fine. And then Charlie and my sister Laura got up to the top before us. Actually, you got up to the top. And my sister Laura was staying with me and my other sister Lucy and cheering us on and it was really lovely. I just wanted to get to the top. I just want a little break. <laughs> the next one definitely has to be the AJ Hackett bungee jump in Taupo. Yes, 100%. However, none of us were actually brave enough to do it. This guy, <laughs> he sort of chickened out, but I said to him, come on, you've got to do something. You have to do this. Like, we're in New Zealand, come on. So he went like next level down, didn't you? What do you mean next level down? No, it was the same height. Yeah, it was the same height, but it wasn't like... It was the same height, it was the same drop. I just wasn't dangling by my feet. I was in a little harness. Yeah, which I think is all right. I never would have done it, so I was impressed. Yeah. You were terrified. I was so scared. Yeah. I'm petrified of heights. Yeah, you are actually. But I did it because we got, I think it was something like 40% off because of the car that we hired. Oh yeah, yeah that, that was, was a good I'll, deal. That was that was the only reason I was convinced into doing it. Yeah, what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll find out what car rental company we were going through and I'll link them below so that if they are still doing that deal sort of as an ongoing thing, then you can do it if you're going around New Zealand because that was amazing. It was, it was a really good deal. It yeah. knocked a lot off. Yeah, because things like bungee jumps are really expensive. A lot of big activities in New Zealand are, but if you can go through a company that's going to give you something cheaper or like package deals or tour groups, then yeah, I definitely would have recommend that. The next one's a little bit more of a relaxing one. It's called Waitomo Caves. Yes. With the little glowy worms. <laughs> So Waitomo Caves is actually, like, I would say quite a romantic and peaceful place to visit. What, where we went with your family? Yeah, it was very <laughs> romantic. But it is, it's a, it's a really calming place because basically, so you go in a little tour group. Oh, the boat. Yes, that was romantic. I was yeah. terrified, but it was romantic. So basically, you get in, you get put into a little tour group and you go around, um, you go around sort of the cave. So you've got to go underground and it's, Stunning. There's the it just lights up little green dots everywhere because yeah. of the glow worms, and you're getting pulled along in this little boat by a man who's just 
he's got his arms on like a rope and he's just pulling you around. Yeah. He had to pull all of us in that bucket. Yeah, it was crazy. He's because it's strong. pitch black, because basically, obviously they're glow worms. So it had to be pitch black and it has to be dead silent. So you get on, so you get led to this boat by someone that you've never met. <laughs> and you walk through all these caves to get there. And it's just beautiful. You see all the stalagmites and stalactites, etc., etc. standing in the cave. And then you walk to this boat and they ask you to get on and I'm not a fan of things like that. So I was like, oh, but I have to be dead silent. So I'm dead <laughs> silently getting on a boat that I was freaking out about. It's pitch black. And then he just, yeah, grabs onto a rope and like it's pulling us along dead silent still. Yeah. And everyone's looking around and you just really hope that like, <laughs> you just sat there like, don't fart, don't fart, don't <laughs> fart. <laughs> I was sat there thinking that one of them were going to fall on me. Yeah, I was scared of one of them falling on me, of the boat rocking. Or, Which it did. Yeah, or the man falling. Like, I was like, really? he's literally pulling us along in the pitch black on a rope that's attached to whatever. <laughs> what if he falls off and we all capsize? And I can't reach the rope. <laughs> that's what I was scared of. But it was a beautiful place, don't get me wrong. It was lovely. It was really nice. It was beautiful. The next one, if you're after a bit more of a classy day out, mm. would be Waiheke Island. Yeah, Waiheke Island is beautiful. Not only because of the scenery and because of the fact that you have to take a ferry to get there, it's full of vineyards. So it's a beautiful place to go for a relaxing day out, a little bit more upper class. I did feel very upper class. I felt very fancy. I wore my best shirt. And I wore a dress, which I live in. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it was a lovely, lovely day out. We went to a restaurant called Cable Bay, restaurant slash vineyard, um, and obviously they serve you the wine that they grow the grapes for. I think so. Yeah. That was the first time I tried pork belly. Oh, yummy though, right? It was really good. Mm. And they served us really lovely food and it was absolutely stunning. The view was amazing. And then we walked up a hill to somewhere called Mudbrick Vineyard. How do you remember that? <laughs> I don't actually know. <laughs> <laughs> they served food. Uh. <laughs> And the views, I just can't, that's the thing. I think that's the one thing, the overarching theme of all of them is that the view in every single area is just stunning. In my opinion, there is nowhere like it. No, it is just incredible. I think if you're going to go to somewhere like Waiheke Island, be prepared to spend that little bit more money. Obviously, like I said, activities in New Zealand are quite pricey, just like the price of living there. But if you're going to go somewhere like that, be prepared to fork out a little bit more money for the food, obviously for the drink, because you don't want to go there and not have a nice glass of wine. <laughs> True, but it's worth it. Definitely worth it. Definitely worth the experience. Yeah. I couldn't afford to do it every Saturday. No. <laughs> and what's the last one? Would definitely be the hooker jet in the hooker falls yes Woo! that was like that it's my perfect level of, of adrenaline yeah yeah no, I mean, it was good it yeah was really good. but it was just underneath what you would class as like adrenaline rush but it, there was a rush because this this man had control of this boat and he was just spinning it and going really really fast and yeah yeah it was good it, it was, was really amazing good. basically the hooker falls are just huge falls and the water is just incredible like i've never seen anything like it in my this life such a massive area isn't it yeah yeah it's just so cool it's crazy the hooker jet is basically a jet boat that is operated in hooker falls and they basically take you around the lake at about 100 miles an hour it's terrifying this man like he will go like that and that means oh, you're yeah. about to spin, do you yeah. remember? That yeah. was so scary. You have to wear a life jacket because it goes fast. And you go so close to the rocks, don't you? Yeah. So you get really close to like cliff edges and he like spins you around and, you, and like the bit of the boat flips yeah. and yeah. oh, it's so scary. And then you go really, really close to the waterfall. Um, it's Oh, that was so cool. I so wish I brought my phone. I but they told everyone not to bring their phone. And then there was two girls in front of us that had their phones yeah. and they were taking pictures. And they were just like one hand holding it and yeah. the other hand they were like... Ooh. They were like ragging it around, weren't they? That yeah. was crazy. But I would highly, highly, highly recommend the Hooker Jet. So that is our top six places to visit in the North Island of New Zealand. If you're ever lucky enough to be able to visit, please do it. Definitely do it. If you're interested in any more hints and tips on visiting New Zealand, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to like the video, turn your notifications on, and we will see you next time. See you later. Bye. Bye.